Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss matrix operations where we will be looking at addition and subtraction of matrices. Now two matrices can be added if and only if they have the same dimension or order. The dimension or order of a matrix or the size of a matrix is determined by the number of rows or the number of columns which a matrix has. In this particular matrix, there are three rows and three columns. Therefore, the order of matrix A is 3 cross 3. When this dimensional requirement is met, that is the two matrices are of the same order, then the two matrices are said to be conformable for addition. That is, it is possible to add the two matrices. The addition of matrix A which contain elements Aij and matrix B which contain elements Bij is defined as the addition of each pair of corresponding elements. In both the matrix, I can vary from 1 to M and J can vary from 1 to N. Thus, the addition of matrix A which contain elements Aij and matrix B which contain elements Bij will be equal to a new matrix C which contain elements Cij where Cij is equal to Aij plus Bij. Again, two matrices can be subtracted if and only if they have the same dimension or order. That is, the order of the first matrix should be equal to the order of the second matrix. When this dimensional requirement is met, the matrices are said to be conformable for subtraction. That is, it is possible to subtract the two matrices. The subtraction of matrix A which contain elements Aij and matrix B which contain elements Bij where I varies from 1 to M and J varies from 1 to N is defined as the subtraction of each pair of the corresponding elements. Thus the subtraction of matrix A which contain elements Aij and matrix B which contain elements Bij is equal to a new matrix which contain elements Cij where Cij is equal to Aij minus Bij. Let us further understand let us further understand the addition and subtraction of matrices with the help of an example. Here in the first example we have been given matrix A which contains certain elements and matrix B which contain certain elements. And we need to find the sum of A and B, that is the sum of matrix A and B. Now in order to find the sum of the two matrices, we need to remember that the order of the two matrices must be equal. Now the first matrix is of order 2 cross 2 since it has two rows and two columns and the order of matrix B is also 2 cross 2 since it has two rows and two columns. Now since the order of the first matrix is equal to the order of the second matrix, hence the two matrices are conformable for addition. Let us now proceed to add the two matrices. We need to remember that in order to add two matrices, we need to add the corresponding elements. That is, we need to add 4 with 2, next 9 with 0, 2 with 0, and 1 with 7. 4 plus 2 equals 6, 2 plus 0 equals 2, 9 plus 0 equals 9, 1 plus 7 equals 8. Therefore, the sum of matrix A and matrix B is equal to a matrix which contain elements 6, 9, 2, and 8. In the second example, we have been given matrix C which contains certain elements and matrix D which contain certain elements. And we are asked to find the difference between the two matrices, that is C minus D. Now, in order to subtract the two matrices, 
we need to know whether the two matrices are conformable for subtraction or not. Now in order to know that, we need to know the order of the two matrices. The order of matrix C is 2 cross 2 since it has two rows and two columns. Similarly, the order of matrix D is 2 cross 2 since it has two rows and two columns. Since the order of the first matrix C is equal to the order of the second matrix D, therefore the two matrices can be subtracted. Now we need to remember that in order to subtract the two matrices, we need to subtract the corresponding elements. That is, we need to subtract 10 with 6, 3 with 8, 2 with 1, and 0 with 3. 10 minus 6 is 4, 2 minus 1 is 1, 8 minus 3 is minus 5. Since negative 8 is greater than positive 3, 0 minus 3 equals minus 3. Therefore, the difference of the two matrix C and D is equal to a matrix which contains elements 4, minus 5, 1, and minus 3. Let us consider the next example. Here we have been given matrix A which contains certain elements and matrix B which contains certain elements. And we need to find the sum of the two matrix, matrix A and matrix B. Now in order to find the sum of the two matrices, we need to ensure that the two matrices are conformable for addition. That is, the order of the first matrix must be equal to the order of the second matrix. Now the order of matrix A is 3 cross 3 since it has 3 rows and 3 columns and the order of matrix B is 3 cross 3 since it has 3 rows and 3 columns. Now since the order of the first matrix is equal to the order of the second matrix, therefore the two matrices are conformable for addition. That is, it is possible for us to find the sum of the two matrices. In finding the sum of the two matrices, we need to add the corresponding elements. So we will add 2 with 0, 4 with 4, and minus 1 with 6. Next, minus 7 plus 2, 1 plus 7, 8 plus minus 1, 5 plus 4, 2 plus 2, 0 plus minus 3. 2 plus 0 equals 2, 4 plus 4 equals 8, minus 1 plus 6 equals 5, minus 7 plus 2 equals minus 5, 1 plus 7 equals 8, here plus times minus equals minus 1, 5 plus 4 equals 9, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 0, plus times minus equals minus 3, 2, 8, 5, minus 5, 8, 8 minus 1 equals 7, 9, 4, 0 minus 3 equals minus 3. Therefore, the sum of matrix A and matrix B is equal to a matrix which contain elements 2, 8, 5, minus 5, 8, 7, 9, 4, minus 3. Let us now look at the next problem. Here we have been given matrix C which contain certain elements and matrix D which contain certain elements. Now we need to find the difference between matrix C and matrix D. Now in order to find the difference between matrix C and matrix D, we need to ensure that the two matrices are conformable for subtraction. That is, the order of the first matrix C should be equal to the order of the second matrix D. Now the order of matrix C is 3 cross 3 since there are 3 rows and 3 columns and the order of matrix D is also 3 cross 3 since there are 3 rows and 3 columns. Now since the order of matrix C is equal to the order of matrix D, 
Therefore, the two matrices are conformable for subtraction. In order to subtract the two matrices, we need to subtract each of their corresponding elements. That is, we need to subtract 4 with 4, minus 1 with 6, 6 with 3. Next, 1 with 7, 8 with minus 1, 3 with 5. Next, 2 with 2, 0 with minus 3, and 1 with 1. 4 minus 4 equals 0. Minus 1 minus 6 equals minus 7. 6 minus 3 equals 3. 1 minus 7 equals minus 6. 8 minus times minus equals plus. 1. 3 minus 5 equals minus 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. 0. Minus times minus equals plus. 3. 1 minus 1 equals 0. So we have 0 minus 7. 3. Minus 6. 9. Minus 2. 0. 3. 0. Therefore, the difference of matrix C and matrix D, that is C minus D, is equal to matrix which contain elements 0, minus 7, 3, minus 6, 9, minus 2, 0, 3, 0. Now, in the next set of examples, we need to show whether it is possible to add or subtract the following given matrices. Let us look at Example A. Now here we need to show that whether it is possible or not to add the two matrices. Now the first matrix is of order 3 cross 3 since it has 3 rows and 3 columns. The order of the second matrix is 3 cross 2 since it has 3 rows and 2 columns. Now here we can see that the order of the first matrix is not equal to the order of the second matrix. Now since the order of the first matrix is not equal to the order of the second matrix, hence the two matrices are not conformable for addition. That is, it is not possible to add the two matrices. Let us look at example B. Here we need to find the difference between the first matrix and second matrix. The order of the first matrix is 3 cross 3 since there are 3 rows and 3 columns. The order of the second matrix is 2 cross 3 since there are 2 rows and 3 columns. Now we can observe that the order of the first matrix is not equal to the order of the second matrix. Since the order of the first matrix is not equal to the order of the second matrix, Therefore, the two matrices are non-conformable for subtraction. That is, it is not possible to find the difference between the two matrices. Let us consider example C. Here we have been given two matrices. Here we need to find the sum of the first matrix with the second matrix. The order of the first matrix is 4 cross 3 since there are 4 rows and 3 columns. The order of the second matrix is also 4 cross 3 since there are 4 rows and 3 columns. Now since the order of the first matrix is equal to the order of the second matrix, therefore we can say that the two matrices are conformable for addition and therefore it is possible to find the sum of the two matrices.